Hi everyone, I'm Farmer Dean with Tangletown Gardens and Wiseacre Eatery here. Um, this week I wanted to talk to you about uh, weed control. Um, not a sexy topic, but is probably one of the most important and one of the most time consuming things we do uh, here on our farm in order to produce really great crops. Um, as you know, we create a really beautiful rich soil uh, to grow our plants in, but that also is a really beautiful rich soil to, to grow weeds in. And without using herbicides, we rely on mechanical co uh, control and mechanical cultivation in order to minimize those weeds. So uh, this is just one of the many tools. We have a lot of different uh, mechanisms and means of, of um, controlling weeds. Uh, this is just one of them. We need a lot of different options because with weed control, the biggest challenge is timing. And if we don't get the timing right with one tool, we have to have some other options. Uh, we use everything from flame weeding to good old hand hose. And this particular tool is called the Williams Toolbar, which is a tine weeder uh, and also a, a series of sweeps. So what this thing does, this is actually pretty amazing. It's easy to control the weeds in between the rows, but the weeds that are actually in the plant row are the most difficult ones to get out. This is a batch of lettuce and cauliflower and um, um, we've got basil, we have celery and we have onions in this field. and. These were planted about a week and a half ago, about 10 days ago, which is about the duration of time that needs to pass in order to use this, this tool. Uh, fortunately, we got some good rains in between the time we planted and now, and I literally just, uh, just cultivated this about a week or uh, an hour ago. So what this thing does is actually gets right in the plant row and it's a whole series of fingers. There's 54 different fingers on this thing. As you can see, we actually run a sweep through the ground, very, very shallow. Um, first and then these tines come behind and these tines are kind of spring-loaded and flexible and we can adjust the tension on them to fit the soil type and foil, uh, soil structure and moisture in order to go through and just rip so you'll see um, like I said I just did this so even in the plant row this little little um, column right here um, all of this is loose and most of these weeds have been jarred loose uh, or buried so what that'll do is help slow the weeds down. As the lettuce then canopies out, it'll shade the uh, weeds in between. And we'll do this one more time to help really control those weeds. Then we'll come through with the finger weeder, throw some more soil into that row. And hopefully that means we have a clean, seed, uh, uh, a clean uh, bed to work from. One of the tools that we use uh, is not necessarily something new. It's actually a hybrid uh, between something very old and incorporated with something new. But again, one of, the, one of the biggest challenges we have in these small, small areas in between the plants is getting in between there. So uh, on transplanted crop, that tine weeder works great. On things that were seeded, like small carrots, small onions, things like that, we really need something to get really, really, really close. So we've got a, a, a Super C, a Farmall Super C, which is uh, upwards of 75 years old. Uh, and it's retrofitted with a with a belly mount cultivator so I can sit on the seat and look down to see these discs that are set uh, about an inch on either side of the row and it throws just a little bit of soil away from the row leaves the plant intact so I can cultivate a carrot that is less than an inch tall throw some soil away cover it up just a little bit as we go past with these with the sweeps behind uh, and then we get that carrot a little bit further along so then we can hill it eventually and that helps control those weeds. So, so again, we use lots of different tools and lots of different mechanisms to, to keep our fields as clean as possible. Um, sometimes we win and sometimes we lose. So those are just a few of the ways that we control weeds here at the Tangletown Gardens and Wiseacre Eatery Farm so that we keep our fields clean and we keep fresh produce coming out to you. Enjoy this week's share. Mm -hmm.